All right, so time to do our math. Today, we're not going to read a math book, but we're going to read a book about bear. Because today, in our math book, there are some bears. So, I don't really have a math story about bears. This is called Bear Says Thanks. It's a Thanksgiving book about our friend Bear. Bear Says Thanks. Uh-oh, there's Bear hiding in his den, sleeping, sleeping. All alone in his cave, Bear listens to the wind. He is bored, 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 and he misses his friends. I could make a big dinner, a feast I could share, but he looks through the cupboards and his cupboard is bear. Now he's a bear, but to have a bear cupboard means to have it be empty. There's nothing in it. Then Mouse stops by with a huckleberry pie and the bear says, thanks. Maybe his friends are gonna bring the food and the feast. Bear says, goodness me, a delectable pie, but I have made nothing, he adds with a sigh. And then they hear, hi-ho, and they both see hair with a big batch of muffins at the door of the lair. So his cave, he's calling it a lair. Hare scurries in from the cold rushing wind and the bear says, thanks. So now they have pie and muffins. Of course, says Hare, and then he points to the door. Here comes Badger, he's got even more. Brr, says Badger as he tromps inside. He sets down his pole and he smiles real wide. I'm back from a stroll at the old fishing hole. Look what he brought. And the bear says, thanks. Then gopher and mole tunnel up from the ground. So gophers and moles tunnel through the ground. So they tunneled under the ground into the lair. We have warm honey nuts. Let's pass them around. Then there's a flap and a flitter and a flurry in the den when in flutters owl, raven, and wren. We have pears from the tree and herbs to brew tea. And the bear says, wait. Look at his face. Can you make that face? Put your hands up. Wait. Oh. Bear mutters and he stutters and he wears a big frown. Bear sighs and he moans and he plops himself on the ground. You have brought yummy treats. You are so nice to share, but me, I have nothing. My cupboards are bare. Remember to have a bare cupboard means there's nothing inside of it. Mouse squeaks, don't fret. There's enough, dear bear. You don't need any food. You have stories you can share. His friends hug him tight. It will be all right. And the bear says, thanks. They lay out their feast on a quilt on the ground and the bear takes a seat while his friends gather around. In a cave in the woods, in a warm, bright lair, the friends feel grateful for their good friend, Bear. They pass around platters, they tweet and they chatter and they all say thanks. They had a little feast and our feast is gonna be coming up on Thanksgiving, right? It's coming up soon, next week. All right, so we're opening up to the page that has the bears at the top. Okay, so we're gonna practice our ordinal numbers. Do you remember ordinal numbers? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, all right, so ready to be a good listener? It says, point to the second bear. First, second, color the shirt on the second bear yellow. So just his shirt. Did you hear that? Just his shirt, my yellow, my crayon. I've used it so much, I need to pull the paper off a little bit to get me 
the tip of my crayon so I can see my color. If that ever happens, if your crayons get too stubby, ask a grown up to um, rip some paper off. So we've got our second bear and just his shirt is yellow. Not his shorts, not his head, just his shirt. Okay, point to the third bear. First, second, third. Color the hat on the third bear red. Just his hat. Easy enough. Ready? Point to the first bear. First. Color the pants on the first bear blue. Show his pants. Just his pants. All right, point to the fourth bear. First, second, third, fourth. Color the shoes on the fourth bear green. So his shoes. There we go. And then let's listen. You're gonna be a good listener. You're gonna put your finger on or tell me using the ordinal number. Which bear has the blue pants? Is it the first, second, third, or fourth? Tell me using the ordinal number. Who has the blue pants? You should have said first. Who has the yellow shirt? Who has the yellow shirt? You should have said second. Who has the green shoes? Who has the green shoes? You should have said fourth. And who has a red hat? Who has a red hat? You should have said third. All right, turn your page. We're gonna practice that number eight again. Do you remember how to make an eight? We make an S and then we go back home. Make an S and go back home. So we're gonna use our pencil. Make an S and go back home. Make an S and go back home. That's how we write the number eight. So see what I did? I made my S and then I'm gonna just connect it back. Make an S and go back home. Make an S and go back home. Make an S and go back home. That's how we write the number eight. Try some at the bottom if it's still tricky for you. So make an S and go back home. Make an S and go back home. Make an S and go back home. Ooh, draw a picture of eight balls. Eight balls. One. Whoa. I haven't broken a crayon in a while. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure you draw eight. You have to count as you go. Count as you go to make sure you have eight.